We are back with game number three, Illini Orange versus UIC. One to one of the series, so we go to game three. We're going to see a last pick OD. Everyone loves this hero in their games, right? <laughs> But no. It's gonna be interesting to see. Interesting thing to point out is uh, UIC has been dire for all three games. So we're going to get into it. Deciding game between these two teams. And uh, are they going to go for the same smoke play? They're going to draw a different line. This is really interesting to me, actually. This is really, really interesting. Um, Illini, and, and, and we've seen because they've been Radiant all three games. We've seen their Radiant uh, pre-game execution or pre-horn execution. And every, every game of the three, they've run out. To, to nearby the river, they've got a smoke again, and they've drawn a different line. They're actually just going to walk up without the smoke this time, so. Maybe knowing that you're, you're going to break here. I'm not sure. Interesting that you they, they put the small camp blocking word that early. Maybe, uh... Ooh, this one's going to be off the mark. So yeah, maybe... <laughs> Maybe it's actually. Oh my goodness! Have they missed this ward? <laughs> I think this is not. This is not in range. That's unfortunate. So, so the sentry is twofold. They watched them place the sentry. Pretty sure they had vision. And the thought that they provoked from UIC was that they placed the sentry in the river to try and deward the mid ward. Uh, and that it was off the mark. Oh, so they placed the sentry to try and counter that vision control. And instead, the sentry's gonna block the small camp, so Ember's not gonna be able to take that. And also, unfortunately, gonna be off the mark for the observer ward in the mid. But what I was saying is they drew three different lines, right? They they went three different ways, but they always made that, that play towards bottom. So it's interesting the the, ga the shift in game plan from game to game, even with the same basic premise. <laughs> Prodigy secures that first wave, pushes it out with the flame guard. It does take a lot of harass doing so, but very worthwhile. Three CS for him. Forces wave one under tower for blinder on having to CS like that uh, on OD I means he's only going to get the range creep from that first wave. Prodigy now trying to contest if he can, but has to be careful with the low HP. Did see some pings come out top, but it looks like it's just uh, maybe some trees to cut. Prodigy gonna shove out with the flame guard again. Not the easiest matchup, Ember into OD. Uh, and I think that's why we see this small camp come out. A uh, small camp ward come out. He's probably actually doing a very good job because when the wave gets uh, pushed into the river, he makes sure to use the flame guard. Uh, tries to push it out as fast as possible. Make sure that he's getting as much CS of the wave. And not just uh, letting Blinder completely out trade him. But definitely is going to be a difficult lane, especially as uh, OD gets a little bit more in the farm department, a little bit more in the levels department, see him bring out that ring of health already. Has brought out a sentry ward. And yeah, gonna net himself the obs. Prodigy. Can't run back in time being a melee hero. Keep show the flame guard again. Courier goes down in the top lane and disrupted soul. Caught out to the side, chased down by the creeps, and punched down by Sand King. That just happened. And meanwhile, down bottom, Phoenix looks like he... I don't 
don't know. Maybe it's over forward? <laughs> Dive's actually on, on a long cooldown, so it looks like he got a little bit stuck out of position with the dive. Lane pushed up and uh It's actually pretty unfortunate. Obviously. I thought he was gonna try and stack that. Looks like he's going to fight for a CS and, and not get it raw. Slides over to take that one, but this lane is gonna be in a pretty awful state for uh, UIC. Really need to be able to get a pull off, obviously. Is uh farming the pull camp, so not even gonna get a half pull off here and Rob gonna try and contest the long pull. Uh, I'd imagine he's got to start swinging back over now. But uh, yeah, he's going to be able to make sure this long pull doesn't happen. Or maybe not. Brain saps back up, but... Uh, he, should be in, he should be here to at least drag the wave over. Not able to prevent it, but... Swing the wave around and... A little bit awkward there, but able to do it. In the mid, I wasn't ex <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting the kill to come out. Make sure top lane, nothing's going on. But uh saw Ember was going low, and it's always gonna be a knife's edge lane for him. OD. Three points in the Astral and Prism, and seems like he caught him uh with the flame guard off and able to take him down that way. So two to one now. Prodigy. Looking to go down for that bottom water room, and uh, looks like he'll go grab it. Yeah, and just now we're gonna see that his camp's been blocked for uh, four minutes. So uh, probably would have liked to see him realize that a lot sooner because he's got to know that he's gonna actually has a point in searing chains as well. Yeah, I, I think this isn't the right way to play the lane, uh, Ember into OD. I think you really need to be maxing flame guard and try and. Uh, Try and just realize, hey, I'm gonna need to go farm the small camp. I'm gonna need some stacks. Disrupted soul. Salve. Able to get him to HP. He needs leap forward from Gold Heart Frog. 8 HP. Maybe a little lower. Able to get away. And now Gold Heart Frog used his last leap to go for that kill. Gonna get cleaned up by Grizzled. Yeah, so unfortunate there, he goes for the jump. I don't know if I, <laughs> if I like that. Um, goes for the jump forward and, and just can't clean the kill. Marana now does TP down to the bot lane. It caught out in the middle of his dive, but looks like Bane gonna be the one in trouble. Waffle Cone trying to clean up it before he goes down himself as... Uh, his death is coming. Will get the kill on the Phoenix before he goes down, so at least trading his life for something. And uh, Marana with the TP, able to uh, to help out his bot lane. <laughs> There's the hammer. Gonna be dropped down on Ember Spirit, so. Disrupted Soul did TP in to refill the bottle, but uh, not going to matter as Prodigy does go down to the hammer and mid lane looking very, very rough for Ember. He doesn't have that small camp to fall back on. Just now, uh, the ward's going to be dewarded, uh, but there's no stacks for him. Oop, sorry about that. There's no stacks for him in the jungle. I don't know exactly how to and he's just level 5 to the level 8 of the OD. Wow. Arrow going to be off the mark, uh, luckily for Prodigy, but he still has to be careful. As uh, one remnant just brought it down to about half HP. Going to get the Flame Guard, so this remnant shouldn't uh, shouldn't cause too many problems. But jump forward from the Dark Frog. Yeah, it's just the level 2 remnant, even, uh, Flame Guard, I should say. Level 2 Flame Guard, even though he's level 5. Which is part, partially why I think you have to max Flame Guard here, because he's already kicked out of lane, and there's there's no shot that he's going back. Uh, but he's gonna have a, a long road to recover. He's got just 14 CS, uh, not enough points in the Flame Guard, and no stacks in, uh, in the jungle farm. So, very very rough indeed. Down bottom, 
Waffle Cone trying to dive for the PL. PL in a bit of trouble. He did use the Doppelganger already. But the attack speed slow from Phoenix is not enough. Waffle Cone able to get the bash off. We'll trade one for one. Uh, as the illusions from PL actually <laughs> delivered that killing blow. And Rob able to run his way away. Now, <laughs> Sand King too, just being a nuisance, so already starting to take over the jungle eight minutes in. Actually going forward, looking for Disrupted Soul, Haystrun from Blinder means he'll, he's able to make the rotation in with the fresh Meteor Hammer. Epicenter channel up, Waffle Cone TP'd into the outpost for this one. Rob makes the rotation as well with the arrow. Gonna be on the mark and Slardar are gonna go down as well. Things are looking disastrous for UIC after a good looking game one, uh, game two I should say. Lifestealer made the rotation over with Infest, and I really disagree with this play. Uh, he needs to take the space that he gets top lane when Sand King makes this deep dive. Uh, because he's really their only hope. I mean, Slardar having an okay game, but ends up pretty much just trading himself for PL down the bot lane, having a so-so a lane, and Lifestealer the only one who can say he's really come out okay from his lane, but uh, they're going to lose top now off of that stab into the jungle from... Illini and Illini really firing on all cylinders. Uh, starting primarily with this OD, even though Sand King's the one with 71 CS. And that is a huge amount, by the way. I, like, I haven't really touched on that. That is a tremendous amount of CS. He's been pulling the wave back and farming uh, right on pace with the Life Stealer uh, with that Max Sandstorm. He's a pretty kit. All the farm he wants. He's gonna have a blink on top of his Vanguard at 10 minutes. Uh, OD, Meteor Hammer ready, got the mid tower, got the top tower, uh, 10 minutes in, 5k net worth lead, and things are looking, yeah, like I said, things looking disastrous for UIC. Nightmare to cancel the Meteor Hammer, so Waffle Cone gets out of the Astro Imprisonment just fine, but uh, Il and I should have no problems uh, defending this bot tower. It with the jump forward, but we'll dive all the way back and they'll just chill, having repelled the assault on the tower. Obviously, looking towards that defusal blade, and somehow the PL is the lowest farmed here on his team. Just really, he's not even too far off pace. I mean, he's he's doing fine. His other cores are just insanely, insanely farmed. Sand King has the Blink Dagger and 300 more gold to his name, and will continue to just sit in this top lane. Down bottom, looks like a bit of a party. Arrow gonna land onto Disrupted Soul. Lasts just about forever. <laughs> Meteor, uh, Sanity's Eclipse dropped, throws out the hammer. Nightmare was <laughs> able to save Bane for a second, but he's cleaned up as soon as the invulnerability period ends. And they'll take the last tier 1 tower bottom, Illini, at uh, 11 minutes. No towers for the side of UIC, and uh, there's no towers really at risk of being taken either. Waffle Cone forced to slowly chip through these ancients. He's even going to be forced to leave the last one, the Skull Dark Frog. Uh, spot him out with the arrow, forced to run all the way back to the base. Prodigy just level 8, 11 minutes in. Brown Boots and Magic Stick to his name. Uh, 3.4k net worth on your on your mid at 11 minutes, I mean. They don't have any heroes that can really run around the map and Gil and I feel comfortable just uh, completely taking over the entire map as they should. We're deep in the triangle. They actually even block the ancients that'll get dewarded quickly, but you see how defensive the vision is uh, coming out now as, as it needs to be. Uh, for you, I see. That of the sorts. I actually have no idea how this works. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm playing around a little bit with the uh, with the directed camera feature. I'm trying to set this up forever and it wasn't working. It turns out it's on a different button. <laughs> But yeah, Il Il and I starting to run away with the game a little bit. TP down, mill mill. Goes to the bot lane, wants to repel the assaults against the tower. And will succeed, so, you know, very little tower pressure able to be applied from the UIC side, and uh, that's about all they've got going for them. Now, rainbow TPs are going to come in top. Waffle come. Has no blink dagger still, so he's just gonna lead with the uh, corrosive haze. Arrow gonna land onto Bane on the back lines. Waffle cone is looking forward for blinder, blinder. Did he use the astral? Crush gonna come forward. Still needs another hit for the bash. Will get him. Slight of fist and the double remnant forward. Not gonna be enough to take down blinder. Blinder. Grizzled. Nice rage dodge of the hammer. Gonna try and clean him up and will find the kill over on the side. On the back though. Actually. PL goes down as well. Wafflecone gonna find a third stun onto Goldar Prog and Mirana gonna go down as well, and that's a 3 for 0 trade. As Prodigy, he's not done. He wants to look for more remnant forward. Searing chains in the Slight of Fist. Uh That's not right. Yeah, Slight of Fist into Searing Chains. Whatever. Wrong order. Right spells. Unable to find the Phoenix though. And I cannot, I absolutely cannot believe it. Okay, you hear that epicenter channeled up, so I'll hold that thought for a second. Lifestealer Grizzled will get taken down, unable to get the infest off in time. Egg was committed as well, and the rest of the UIC gonna have to try and just bail out. Nightmare to stop the Meteor Hammer. Waffle Cone gonna try and run away. Arrow gonna be off the mark. Bane will be caught out as he's gonna save him some HP with the Brain Sap, and now maybe he's trying to run away. Okay, Astral up. That'll be the end of that. Waffle gun, able to blink away. Just got that blink freshly delivered. Um. So I was, uh, what I was gonna say before that picked off was I am shocked to uh, see Ember pick up Boots of Travel from so far behind. Uh, I think this is the biggest bait when you're behind to go Boots of Travel, because when you're ahead it can feel really good, you can apply some split pressure, you feel like you can be anywhere across the map. But Gil and I actually move into Roshan and take it pretty quickly, all things considered. Uh, so Age is going to go on PM, but it's the biggest bait because their map's already getting closed down, so Ember really has nowhere to TP to. All the lane, all the waves have been pushed in for the entire game and... Uh, he still doesn't really have an item that's going to let him fight. Ooh, that's a rough to watch. But so, a nice fight from UIC, but, uh... Then Roshan goes into the hands of Illini and uh, feels like we're back where we started. They have one good fight, but it, it doesn't make up for the start that uh, that they got off to. And Illini should look to continue to play on on the enemy half of the map. Continue to abuse this deep vision that they have. I mean, their their word cover is so great. Looking at their vision, they don't need any vision in the triangle. They don't need anything in their jungle. I mean. You know where you know where they're gonna play on on the UIC side, looking for the smoke play, but the vision just very very nicely placed for Illinois controlling the enemy half of the map. And UIC really needs to play very together, otherwise they get picked off. So top tier two gonna go down, and again. Uh, Milnil is gonna TP to the tier 1 mid, doesn't want any tower pressure being applied now. He's gonna get blinked on, Waffle Cone goes in, Fiend's Grip to follow. And he will get down, he will go down. So, they'll clean up the kill. They do lose the top tier 2, but they get the kill in the mid. And might look to clean up this, uh, this mid tower as well. Take the first tower of the game. They are playing a little bit spooked though, as they have no information on where any of Ill and I are playing. 
And they are actually swinging over towards the mid now. So, gonna bail out on UIC. Lifestealer was uh, afraid to show on this bottom tower. Enemy heroes off the map. Gonna go apply some pressure now, but still not confident enough to go hit the tower. Here you go. Obviously, very far forward as he can be. And same with Blinder, just gonna Meteor Hammer down towers. Aegis is uh, two minutes remaining still. Diffusal Blade, Yasha already, and Arrow actually connected on to Bane. Rav in a lot of trouble. Obviously, gonna wake him up from his nightmare and put him into another one that lasts about 30 seconds. And they'll turn their attention back to the tier 2 mid. Illini, Orange in full control of this game. Meteor Hammer will go down. <laughs> yeah, off to the side. Comes over to support his team just in case. And uh, they do ping out the high ground. There's a minute and a half left on the Aegis. Might think better of it. Sand King did TP away, and yeah, they're gonna they're gonna retreat and go into the triangle. Uh, guys. <laughs> What's the- these are- these are opposite- oh, uh, I'm- wow, I'm an idiot. Arrow's gonna- gonna hit onto Waffle Cone, but, uh, Blinder actually the one who's gonna be going on Fiend Script forward. There's no stun on the back to cancel the grip, so OD gonna go straight down, egg drop, but gonna be cleaned up quickly. Yeah, here's why I'm an idiot. This is the team that's gonna get the word. Okay, you guys gotta get it. <laughs> So yeah, a little bit of uh, indecision, Owen I thinking they might want to go for high grounds, not really committing to it, and then OD just caught forward. And this is the danger of running your uh, your Marana Phoenix support duo. There's absolutely nothing that cancels the Fiend's grip. Your your Sand King is your only hero if, if OD gets gripped, I should say. Sand King is your only hero who's gonna stop it with the Blink Burrow. But uh, he had TP'd away to to get the top wave out and. You know, wasn't available for that fight. So now, somehow, for, for UIC, Lifestealer has become the most farmed hero on the map. <laughs> Kinda crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I never would have thought that, uh, maybe some 10 minutes ago, that, that Lifestealer would become the top hero on the map. Moonlight Shadow, top lane. Ember Spirit, gonna be found out. Sanity's Clips actually dropped to secure that kill. Not sure they needed the Sanity's Clips. It looked like Arrow was gonna, was gonna be on the mark, but go for it regardless. Might stop them actually from going high ground now. Instead, uh, TP's gonna come into the bot lane. Mill nil. Picked up the shard. He's he was so rich uh, before, and he still is top net worth on his team. So <laughs> I think he just <laughs> wanted the shard, so he bought it. Blinder was caught by the Slardar, but might be Slardar who's actually been caught. Nightmare transferred over to Blinder, but. Waffle Cone will be brought down. Now Ember wants to turn on to obviously. Grizzled here in support, so gonna force back a little nice side. And Prodigy gonna jump forward, looking for Phoenix. Phoenix does have egg available, will use it, but Lifestealer gonna quickly turn onto the egg. The epicenter channeled up, will take down the supports on the back line. Grizzled though, man fighting on the front, obviously. Can't fight into it. Mil Mil and Gold Art Frog trying to clean up. Ember gonna escape on a sliver of HP, and Grizzled should clean up here, he's gotta find the hits. Actually the burrow away, Blink gonna be off cooldown. And Milno will be able to blink away to the side, and now Prodigy turns his sights back on Goldart Frog. The hunter becomes the hunted. Prodigy 
recover just enough mana and remnant charges to go back for that kill. And all of a sudden, it's only a 2k net worth lead for the side of Illini Orange. Uh, felt like they were in firm control of this game, and I won't say they've given up uh, control just yet, but uh, OD definitely lacking in the farm department with how much he's been grouped with his team trying to push. Down to actually below the Ember Spirit, who had a significantly, significantly worse early game. Take a look at the net worth graph. It's uh, starting to come back down a bit. Look at that. Dota Plus said 92% at just 8 minutes. Now swinging back. And that's that's kind of the other thing too. Prodigy, I, they've started to open up some of the map as Boots of Travels are... Uh, Actually becoming more valuable as the game goes on. Will get stunned up by the Burrow, but he's got the Remnant away. Remnant was actually all the way in the fountain. Disrupted Soul gonna be able to play his way away as well. Uh, yeah, and Ember, looking for a BKB, almost has the, the full BKB. Actually, he was holding on to about 4k gold. Uh, down bot. Dan King gonna come in, but a nice Rage. Dodges the Burrow Strike. Gonna be able to walk away. So yeah, this game become very close all of a sudden. Illini definitely throwing a, a large portion of their lead, just being a bit indecisive and uh, overextending a little bit, taking some some poor fights, thinking they're a bit uh, maybe stronger than they were. Roshan has respawned. That must have been a quick respawn. I didn't pay attention to right when it spawned, but immediate smoke up from USC. Looking to go forward. They're going to run straight at each other in the mid lane. And Fest Bomb dropped onto OD. Blinder goes down straight away. Ember Spirit caught with the arrow on the backside, but Waffle Coon going to chase down, obviously. Grizzled is here in support. Crush going to be off the mark. Epicenter thought about it. Not going to decide to go. Now we're going to channel the Epi. Jump forward. Burrow Strike going to be off the mark, so Waffle Coon going to try and run away. Slowed up by the Diffuser Blade. Will get taken down. Grizzled now, though. Wants to come forward. Obviously, the only one stuck on the high ground will actually turn on to Rob. It ends up being a good player working out for him. On the front, Sand King able to claim a kill on Constructed Soul. Obviously, jumps down to the low ground this time. Will manage to TP away. Grizzled. Bought by the Vessel. On the front, Rob was cleaned up. Again, mil nil. Blink Burrow. Just giving him so much mobility in the fights to find the supports in the back. And on the front, really. He was kind of everywhere in that fight. Has the blink available, so he's going to see Grizzled and uh, the Shard. <laughs> the Shard Pulse is slowing him up, actually causing a bit of trouble. Grizzled, no mana for Rage. Pops the arm like going to pop Mjolnir. So he's definitely not going to have mana for Rage. Now he's going to be slowed up. Armlet toggles his way through the Burrow Strike. That's such a nice toggle. It's going to allow him to turn Waffle Cone. Is good. They are going to get hit by a Blinder. Drops a Sanity's Eclipse. So, Life Stealer will go down. Meanwhile, Nil Nil was able to blink away. Waffle Cone now trying to play his way around. Has the blink away. He'll be just fine. Meanwhile, while well, all that's happening, obviously, with his Illusion Army, goes into Roshan. How close is he to the heart? I need to not click on the illusion. There we go. He's pretty close actually, about a thousand gold, fifteen hundred away. And it looks like UIC not in a position to contest this. Could be that they don't even know. Wow, actually. They found the kill on OD. So they definitely don't know this is happening because they think they've just killed off the OD and are are happy with that. Uh, obviously, bashed up, taking a lot of damage. Ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you imagine? Actually. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Wow. That was closer than it needed to be. 
but he's gonna have that already gonna be able to, to regen back up. He's got the shard from Roshan as well. This was Rosh too. So has the shard, he's gonna have the heart coming out soon. And the L and I are gonna be ready to go. Any big items coming up for the uh the dire side? Flardar, BKB. Looks like he must have he must have used the BKB when they killed off the uh the OD, right? That must be the timing. Mjolnir and uh yeah, Basher picked up going for abyssal blade on Grizzled. He's, uh, Grizzled's done a, a very great job uh this game and really this whole series. Uh staying farmed even when they're behind in games. Um and this game in particular, it's really opened up space for Ember Spirit to come back in. It's actually in the base right now. Um, but it's really opened up the space for Ember to come back in. Especially this game when he's gone the, the Boots of Travel. Uh, when they were so shut down, I, I really thought that that item choice could be very, very costly considering how far behind he was. But uh, ends up giving him a lot of space now. Uh, to farm and he's caught pretty he's caught pretty much back up uh not gonna be on par with the sand king who's managed to stay top net worth, net worth the entire game but uh surpassing the ods is, is quite the accomplishment considering his start but here we go now in a position to have to defend high ground uic has to defend against the pl with ages Banished actually was on Prodigy and caught outside of the base. So 67 seconds. He does have a buyback, but now Egg gonna be dropped on the front. Grizzle gonna focus it down. They're gonna get it with the snap fire as well. So Phoenix goes down early. Waffle Cone trying to deal damage on the front. Infest to dodge all the epicenter. Now jumps out. Not able to get the rage off. Trying to fight into PL. PL forced to doppel. Gives up on Grizzle. And Grizzle actually is very, very low, but able to run his way back to the fountain. We'll try and heal. Milnil still causing havoc with the Sandstorm with the Burrow. Ember did fly back. Now Prodigy trying to do as much as he can with the BKB, but he's going to go down. That's dieback. 100 seconds on the deck. Obviously. Still has that Aegis the Immortal. Still about on full HP. Grizzle trying to fight into the Illusion Army with that uh, Mjolnir. Now going to find the real one with the Abyssal Blade. Crushed to follow. Stunned up. PL able to get the Doppel away, actually. Real one. Alex and Amanta try and run the real one away. Waffle Cone needs one hit. Has the bash prepped. There it is. Aegis goes down. TP support gonna come in from the Phoenix who's respawned after all this time. Doppelganger. There's no mana on the life stealer. Waffle Cone out of mana as well. Almost out of life. Will go down. Cookie just gonna be a distraction as obviously now gonna charge forward towards the Snapfire. No. Gonna give up towards the life stealer. Snapfire did go down in the meantime. And Life Stealer now Yule stuff out of mana will be taken down as the rest of the Illini team has respawned, has come back into the fight. Sand King the only one still down. Life Stealer doesn't have the mana to rage out of the Astral Imprisonment and gets cleaned up. Three diebacks and Ember died back so early in that fight. 100 second timer that he's now up in 30. But it doesn't matter as no buybacks left. PL, 100% HP. The heart. Letting him come back in. Always full HP. And they'll look for Elena Rax here. And we'll see how confident they are to stay for maybe an extra Elena Rax. Oh, Peel sends the extra illusion. <laughs> Instead of taking the nightmare off himself, Phoenix gonna take it off. Um We'll see how confident they are to stay with us for a second because Blinder, half HP, Gold Art Frog, half HP. Uh Life Stealer gonna be the only one to not respawn. Uh, in the next five seconds, so might be content with one lane and, and done. Or we'll see if they, they head towards mid, as it looks like they are headed towards mid. Ember did TP to the bot lane, has a remnant in the well, I believe. Yes, he does. Sorry about that. But obviously, yep, and they're going to use the Sunray to heal up. Going to take down the tier 3 in the mid, and now they have to wait for Lifestealer to respawn before UIC has any chance of fighting this, so... Second lane in Jeopardy. Lifestealer respawning in five seconds. Smoke on the back to try and make any sort of play happen, but uh, Illini Orange smokes up themselves to run away and, uh, sorry, moonlights themselves to, to run away and back together. And they will do so as a unit. 
Roshan down for at least two and a half more minutes. And we'll see if uh, Illini Orange, uh, it, it, they could very easily just control the map, play PL forward, stick uh, loosely together, wait for the next stages. Here comes the jump forward and Fest Bomb actually dropped onto PL, the Abyssal to follow. A lot of damage coming out onto obviously. Obviously able to doppelganger away. Use the Manta already, so Spirit Lance to slow, but Crush to come out and a bash from Lifestealer. He will go down. That's a thousand gold kill bounty for Grizzled. And he's level 24 and a half now. <laughs> How much XP did he get from that? 2,000? Him and Slardar both? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> 2,000 is what, like half a level? Like a full level? Wow. And for Slardar, it's uh, a level and a half. <laughs> So yeah, another little overextension. Granted, they are up uh, two lanes of Rax on the Illini side, so there's always going to be pressure coming back into the base. It's not like that that one death is going to turn the game or anything, but uh, it is going to give UIC a, a breath of fresh air as uh, they attempt to continue to play in this game. And Life Stealer's 25 talent coming up very soon. The one and a half second rage duration, very very impactful. Uh, this game in particular, fighting into OD, uh, playing around Rage becomes just that much easier when you can feel confident it's going to last long enough for you to, to click down a target uh, and even maybe deal with the egg if uh, Snapfire isn't in position. Haven't talked about uh, Sand King's items. He's still maintained his hold on the top of the net worth chart, has a full Shivas, has a Lotus Orb, and has a Sanj Kaya coming out. Uh, He's pretty six slotted. <laughs> man is man is living large. <laughs> Has boots of travel as well. Pretty crazy stuff. Meanwhile, uh, OD just 14k in the net worth, but he's got the eggs. Uh, arrow hits in the mid lane. <laughs> Prodigy says nice. Yeah. Hit from downtown, I'm pretty max range arrow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, has the agonims, has a BKB. He's working towards a blink dagger as well, which is just going to enable him more in fights. And there's not too much more he really needs, so his net worth isn't much of a problem at this stage. I don't really know his talents. Uh, probably the, the 20 strength is actually a very nice one, so I'm going to work towards that. Phoenix has the Lotus as well. Prodigy. Prodigy very far forward into the entire enemy team. Uh, this is very, a very dangerous play. Gonna pop the BKB. And the Fest Bomb actually comes out. All the remnants dropped onto the BKB blinder. Now it might be disasters. One remnant left. Pro Ember is gonna use it to chase forward. Sanity's clips. Gonna deal a lot of damage, but not gonna take anyone down. Blinder. Will be taken down. Buys back immediately. Uh, obviously. Gonna chase down Prodigy, used all his remnants, used all his mana. Grizzle gonna try and TP away, will get out with the rage. But, uh... 80 seconds, no Ember, who really just jumped a bit too far. Jumped all the remnants onto, uh... Onto the BKB to OD. And just unable to, uh... To get the damage he needed out in the rest of the fight. Grizzle trying to deal with Milnil as he's the only one in the base. Uh, Sand King posing a real problem. The Abyssal Blade to lock him down. There is the Burrow. Burrow actually going to be used forward now. Arrow going to be on the mark. Life Stealer. Taking a lot of damage just from the creeps. Milnil now kind of blink away and just play with him. Uh, meanwhile, Bot Rax under siege. Obviously, trying to do the damage. Ember up in 20 seconds, so making sure they speed it along and actually collect the rats. And this set will give them Megas along with a 20k network lead. Waffle coming. They jump the OD in the back, and they will burst him down. Gets the BKB up, but dies immediately afterwards. Now, obviously, obviously taking a lot of damage. Phoenix Grip gonna make sure he goes down as well. Megas not collected. Both cores down. 90 seconds, no buyback on either core. Stunned Phoenix is gonna get brought down. Grizzled with the triple kill. Waffle Cone extending for more kills. 
Blastrax survives on 500 HP. And Roshan is up. Roshan has an Aghanim's Blessing. Uh, we'll see what UIC, what they decide to do uh, with the next 60 seconds now before uh, OD respawns, before PL respawns. But look at the swing. I mean... The Infest Bomb forward onto the OD, we've been seeing. He doesn't have that 20 strength talent yet. Uh, the BKB, his only defensive item, and he's really lacking a... Actually, I say he's lacking armor. He has quite a lot of armor. But uh, the Corrosive Haze and Life Stealer with the Abyssal Blade locked down is just too much. And, and that's been bursting him down. Uh, if he gets a little bit too far forward. Which we've been seeing. What we have not been seeing is PL getting bursted in a similar fashion. And that's exactly what happened this last fight. Bag's Blessing over onto Bane. Aegis on to the Life Stealer. Uh, he has buyback Ember, will in 15 gold. Interesting. I guess it makes some sense. I would have, I would have thought to put some stock into giving uh, giving the Aegis of the Immortal to the Ember Spirit, considering how he's been playing. But I guess he's also been dumping his remnants pretty early in the fights and doesn't have that refresher quite yet. He does have it queued up now. Uh, but doesn't quite yet have that refresher to make sure he comes out uh, ready to go again if he were to pop that Aegis. I'm sure we have some other items coming out. Yeah, Odie's still looking for that blink, remember? He did buy back uh, to rejoin the fight. His buyback is on cooldown, yeah, for four minutes. And look at that again, down to a 5k net worth lead with uh, Aegis on the UIC side. What a crazy game, what a chaotic game. Slardar looking towards an AC, so even, oh, some more double warding going on. Uh, looking towards an AC though. <laughs> double ward, so I'll put you to sleep. <laughs> I love it, Rob having a bit of fun of it. 40 minutes in. One to one, this is game three of the best of three. A little bit of tensions rising and still having some fun with it. But uh, Grizzled has a, I think that's a new MKB. And 4K gold to boot. Uh, I'm very surprised he does not have the, the open wounds shard. It's not the most useful against Eo, so I, I can understand from that perspective. It can be a very nice way to, to get a big heal, burst heal though in the fight, so I'd expect to see him pick that up at some point. And very grouped together. Snapfire going for Ags. Snapfire, okay, <laughs> with the Snapfire Ags, they could do an infest combo with the Slardar and toss him in with the, with the Snap Ags onto the OD. Now, OD does have the BKB, so probably what they've been doing now is better, <laughs> objectively. But, uh, it's less fun. Obviously, has the Scotty now. Um, uh, this by team. That's not right. There we go. But yeah, obviously, has the Scotty. Very good against Life Stealer. Working towards a basher. Don't think he'll get it anytime soon, so he's going to want to make sure he holds on to uh, his own buyback. And Milnil's still huge. He's got a hex queued up. Love the pickup. If he can make sure Life Stealer doesn't get Rage off, or if he can make sure uh, Prodigy gets locked down, there's no Lincolns available on any core. I don't think there's even a Lotus. Yeah, no. So, Refresher Orb is complete for Prodigy. It's that on the Courier. So we're going to see the full potential of an Ag's Refresher Ember Spirit. He's got it in the backpack for now, but he will uh, swap that one in. He's got a Cheese as well. And Age is going to expire in, in one minute, but... Uh, Aegis well used as a stabilizer, and look at that Scotty picked up uh, 
as well for life stealer now he has bought out he's got no buyback because of gold and aegis is gonna time out so he's gonna need to play a little bit careful for the next uh two three minutes while he farms up that buyback again uh but a well-used aegis to stall and come back from the from the brink of defeat i would say And then, <laughs> you've got Bane. Bane, he's got Aether Lens, he's struggling, he's poor. What can he do? He wants that Glimmer Cape. He'll get, there. He'll get it eventually. I say he's poor, they did give him the Agonim's Blessing. Um, which I, I, I didn't talk about that when they, they gave it to him on the Roche, and, and they haven't fought since, so I haven't had the chances. I'm not gonna get the chance. Here you go, Meteor Hammer drop down on Snapfire. Quick pick off and, and they'll run straight, uh, I think probably down mid and over towards the racks. Uh, so real quick before that, uh, I'll mention what I love about this Ags, is there's very little cancel. Like I was saying, the Sand King's really the only cancel if you grip the OD. And now the Sand King is going to have to find all of the Illusions channeling feeds for this one. But, obviously, see just the racks, Meteor Hammer as well. Snapfire has no buyback. Number Spirit comes back in. There they go. Jump in onto the PL, trying to burst them down. Sanity's Clip's gonna hit BKB's PL, gonna go down straight away. Yeah, he wills up the Bane, but the Fiend's Grip channel not cancelled because of that Aghanim Scepter. Buyback from the PL. He might try and come back into this fight. Bane's gonna buy back as well, was brought down. Yeah, PL gonna cancel the BOTs in. And there's your win condition if you're USC. Force the PL buyback. Uh. <laughs> cheeky arrow and tp um but yeah you forced the pl buyback you held on to your racks you got two core kills i mean kill the pl now again and that arrow might be a little overzealous uh the straight down mid arrow but kill the pl again and, and <laughs> illini orange is gonna have real problems and look at that oh, less than 1k net worth lead Goes the side of UIC. There are multiple stages of this game that I would never have thought this was going to go back to an even game. Up here, I never would have thought. So early on, the 5 to 10 minute mark. And then again, once they were taking Megas. Nice dodge, obviously. Dodges the Infest Bomb. There wasn't the most follow-up. Ember does have tremendous range now. Uh, with the, the Ags remnants, but he's gonna play his way away. Doesn't, didn't even BKB. He didn't need it. And I, I suppose to some extent he didn't, because the Sand King uh, is really the only instant-ish stun that they have with the Burrow Strike for now, so. Won't be chained up Well, he's on the deck. And yeah, Lifestealer now has taken over the top network slot. And uh, he'll probably be looking to replace the armlet, but he's got the shard queued up first. Like I was saying before, it, it, even if it doesn't uh, work great for the slow, in the long grindier fight, it can almost act as a satanic for you if you get it off onto uh, someone you're going to be hitting anyway. You get a huge amount of lifesteal from it can help your teammates uh, as well if Ember is running low on HP. All of a sudden does a ton of magic damage to some target that's open wounds. Can be a big help. Alright, Snapfire Ags is complete. Snapfire going for a Refresher. I don't know about that one. I, I don't know... Uh, maybe thinking of like the double Mortimer's Kisses. <laughs> He's gonna get his revenge on Rob. Rob. <laughs> Put him to sleep for the double ward, and uh, Disrupted Soul tosses him up on that same cliff. <laughs> uh, they're just playing around. They're gonna smoke up now. But their wave's in a, in a pretty bad spot, so... Going to just uh, deal with those. And honestly, if you're, if you're ill and I... Orange, you might think about just waiting out your, your PL's buyback. 
Roshan has responses giving next to uh, the next target. As here comes the fight. Jump in, crush onto two. Blinder forced to BKB immediately. And if they can retreat on the UIC side, this is a tremendous win. Waffle Gun will be used up. Try and sprint his way away. Epicenter gonna be dropped. Burrow up as well, and he will go down. 90 seconds on the deck. I don't know if they can afford to give away this Roche, though. They have the outpost, but they're gonna pull a retreat. So they're gonna try and save the buyback, but they're gonna give away the Roche on. They were so close to making it work, too. If they could have gotten away, Blinder would have no BKB. He's an easy pickoff at that point in the next fight. Refresher orb, they've left the cheese in the base. Uh, in the in the pit. Refresher the way of OD. Ags the way uh sorry. Not Ags, Aegis the way of PL. Ags went uh Sand King. Yeah, Sand King needs more net worth, guys. He he had the top spot taken from him, so you gotta give him the Ags blessing to make sure he's on top. Man could buy it for himself. <laughs> And yes, Lardar still desperately holding on to his buyback. 20 seconds he'll be up. But they might have to give away Megas if they don't want him to buy back. There's creeps in the base, so PL gonna send the Illusion Army onto the melee racks. Real Hero's not in that stack just now. But Blinder gonna go forward. Dan King with that new Ags jumps all the way back onto Rob. Egg gonna be dropped on the back, and no one's gonna click down this egg. Snapfire gonna save Bane, throw him back to the well. Egg gonna explode, but in the backline, Prodigy is hunting. Lifestealer completely separated from the fight, nailed by an arrow. Meg Creeps claimed in the meantime. Fight completely separated, Prodigy on one side. Lifestealer trying to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with everyone on the front. Takes down the Phoenix first. Now he's gonna try and deal with PL. PL does have that Aegis, and he's gotta deal with Tan King now. Once the rage ends, he's gonna be stunned up. Burrow Strike, trying to deal with Tan King before he can get a Burrow off. Not gonna actually get the stun off. Now Grizzled deals with the illusions. Buyback's coming out from everybody, and the, the supports on the UIC side just don't have it. Now Ember Spirit will go down, does have buyback, but Refresher is on cooldown. Only one remnant to work with. He's going to have to buyback, and they're going to be desperate to hold these tier 4s. Such a chaotic fight. There was like three, four fronts to that fight. Abyssal Blade going to be used on a creep, I believe. Definitely not on a real hero. We'll take down the Phoenix. That is a dieback. But, hexed up, he will get caught. He does have buyback, but the first life will get brought down. Wafflecom goes down as well. I said he's going to get brought down. Not quite taken down yet. Now he will be. Prodigy in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have buyback. He will not get cleaned up. Wafflecom with the great stun. Another uh, Slight of Fist saving him for the time being. Will finally go down. Grizzled now trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. Doppelganger away. Absolutely, uh, obviously taking a lot of damage, but still does have that Aegis of the Immortal. Grizzle focusing down illusions now. Waffle Cone and Grizzle on their last lives. No buyback remaining from any heroes. Bane respawning. Grizzle, another crush. Keeps him alive for now. Try and fight all the stuff. And he's healing through it. He's taking down illusions. Now Fiend's Grip on the back line. Onto Sand King. Sand King stunned up. Real Bane stunned, but not the illusion. Bane taking a lot of damage. Nightmare gonna save him for now. Nil Nil gets out on solo HP, obviously takes down Bane, just respawn, now back in the well. Heart Frog leaps away on a sliver as well, Grizzled still trying to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. still just managing to hit Illusions, not able to find the real PL, PL still, PL still actually doesn't have the Aegis anymore, completely lied. Grizzled now has to deal with Mega Creeps and there's Cardis hitting the base. Minutes long fight, heroes respawning, Ember though on the deck, Cardi's hitting the base and looks like, obviously, there is a glyph, Abyssal Blade used, trying to take him down, there is a doppel away, but there's four Cardi's hitting the throne once this glyph ends, the Cardi's are just gonna take it down too fast and that is the game, GG, 52 minute thriller, to close out the series, Illini Orange, takes it down, Woo! Those last two fights been so chaotic, so much going on. And it ends up being the wagons that end the game. What a series. What a series.